All right, YouTubers, uh, I am just going to assist people who bought uh, a router. The router is called the Rosewill uh, RNX-G40. It's right here. Uh, it was a great deal at uh, Newegg.com. Um, so it's $22.99, um, and it's free shipping. It's a, gr you know, a great router, you know, if you want something cheap, or at least, you know, I thought so. If you have not bought this router yet, do not buy it I cannot stress that enough do not buy it uh, pay you know you know whatever you need to 30 40 bucks more and get a nice Linksys router because they work excellent you know it's just the performance is much better so um, these reviews were not here people are saying you know it took them hours to get uh, it's not plug-and-play it took forever to set up uh, so what I'm gonna do is tonight I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm going to be really quick about it. What you're going to do is you're going to unbox the entire thing. You are going to plug in from your modem to the router an Ethernet cable. You need two Ethernet cables. So plug in from your modem to your router. Uh, the router it should go in your WAN port. So plug that guy in. And then you want to plug in another Ethernet cable. It's white. It came with it. Um, from the back of your computer into the back of the router and it should go into port 1 and we're going to set this up now it says it's plug and play a lot of people said I can't get it to work I don't know how to get it to work so I'm going to show you how to get it to work alright go to Internet Explorer once everything's plugged in and I'm doing this on a laptop if you're also on a laptop make sure your wireless is off otherwise we're going to have problems so shut your wireless off you're going to type in 192 dot one six eight dot one dot two five four and you're gonna hit enter this is gonna come up you're gonna type in the default password and username which is user you're gonna hit OK oops ah there we go user and it will bring you to the setup wizard if you do this in any other um, browser besides uh, Internet Explorer it's gonna look like crap so don't do that just use Internet Explorer hit next we're gonna use it as a gateway because I want to be able to connect you know my Wii and you know other computers I have so use it as a gateway hit next we don't care about the time zone hit next this is just some information about uh, your your router here your IP address and um, so you could change this if I wanted to I could change the router IP address don't do that because then you won't be remember what the default is uh, just for more security purposes hit next uh, you want yours to be a DHCP client and my understanding of that is you want the router uh, to be assigned you know whatever IPs it's getting from your uh, high-speed uh, service internet service provider so make sure it stays on that and hit next right here make sure you have it on access point so other people can connect and that you are using BNG because it only makes sense to use both of them and then this is the routers name you can change it to whatever you'd like if you want to make sure that you're connecting to the right place I know a lot of people leave you know Linksys Linksys and you're like well there's 40 of them so you can change that we're not going to tonight hit next um, you can do security if you want it's gonna be none by default I'm gonna do uh, a WAP too because it's harder for people to uh, to basically get in your system so create one I'll be changing this so don't try to connect to my network if you're ever in my area and we'll hit OK now what we have to do is we're going to actually go, excuse me, we're going to go to management, and this is a terrible, like if you go off of it, it goes away, so stay on this bar. Management, status, oh, damn it. See, what ha is happening right now is everything we just did, the router is saving that information, so you have to make sure that you go back into the router. So 192.168.1.25. Five four enter. All right. So it's had time to restart. Status. All right. 
this is all your information right here your firmware version don't worry there's no new firmware out um, I'm gonna move this over yeah. all right so we're gonna be um, connecting statically because right now if you're still if that you did that setup wizard and nothing is happening then you know your 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 piece of equipment that you bought for 22 bucks sucks just like mine did and some for some reason mine just started kicking in and working so I don't have to be static anymore but this is what I had to do so go to um, start go to network and right click go to properties we'll move this over here and we're gonna do manage network connections just click that and we are on the local area connection like I said you want your wireless off right click go to properties and what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go to internet protocol version 4 hit properties and we're gonna use use the following IP address alright so this is the IP address you're gonna assign this particular computer so type in 192.168.1 and then let's say 130 for this guy now if you do this on another computer because you want to have a static IP make sure you don't type 130 make it like 150 or 140 something different otherwise you'll have problems now the default gateway is right here all the information that I'm getting is right here except for this IP address this and this guy are two different things alright so what you're going to type for the default gateway is actually this address right here 192.168.1.254 so we're going to do that right now 192.168.1.254 alright and the preferred DNS server again we are going to type 192.168.1.254 now if you have fat chubby fingers like myself you're going to want to make sure that all the numbers are correct before you hit OK. Otherwise, you're going to have a headache and you're never going to figure out why it connects. So, make sure all the numbers are correct. Hit OK. Hit Close. And give it another minute. Just so um, what will happen is you, you won't have, it will say limited connectivity and it won't go to the internet. After we reset it, it will look like this then and then you can go to uh, start you can type in cmd to bring up the command prompt you can type in ip config and it shows us that our new static ip address is 192.168.1.130 and that it's connecting to the router and you can check this by going to uh, a ping test or you can open up Internet Explorer and go to Google. I'm going to ping Google just for fun. So we're going to type in ping www.google.com and hit enter. And if it works, it's going to reply back and say, yeah, everything works. Great. So we're going to close this window. We're going to close this window. Um, we're going to open up Internet Explorer again. Oh, and MSN came up this time, so that's good. We'll go to Google and everything works so everything is great everything works now for some reason like I said mine started to work in DHCP uh, was starting to pull addresses from my from my modem so now I actually don't have to be static anymore you might want to check that after a couple days or if you don't care you can just leave it the way it is I actually prefer being static so there you go that's how you set it up if you guys are having problems write it in the comments below if you know you need help with anything let me know um, if I confuse some terminology I'm sorry I'm not a you know networking guru so thanks for watching hopefully that will help you guys out